I hope I'm not getting any bills this year. Well, what do you know about that? I guess I'd better show this to the other boys. musical practice. Well, didn't you knuckleheads hear the news? What news? I just got a letter in the mail this morning. All three of us were assigned to go to Paris to give new dresses a few new designs for the fashion show. Hey, you ain't kidding. Oh, this ain't no joke, Larry. It's for real. Gee, I can see it now, Mo. Cute goyles walking on runways. What will the world think of next? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you've heard about my report about the telegram. Let's get going. Father, why are you so anxious to see those three gentlemen? Why, Selina, we have to keep moving forward. Why, we've lost so many employees during the recession, and we have a position to keep up. Besides, if we don't find any employees soon, we'll be on the verge of closing soon. Sprint out! Well, here we are, Professor. Raring to go. And not a moment too soon. Oh, at last. Monsieur Howard Fine and Howard. Je m'appelle Mr. Robertson. And this is me daughter, Selina. Well, bonjour. <laughs> now you do remember lay drill and the dresses that you'll have to design. And on top of it all, think of all the creative designs that you can possibly think of. Do we make ourselves collect? Why, of course we can. Yeah, what he said. You've got nothing to worry about, Chief. Why, we're organized. Amalgamated Association of Morons, local six and seven eights. We are morons, bright and true, and we'll do our yell for you. Hey, you know something? If I didn't seem to know any better, I'd say that we'd be great dress designers for a reality show on VH1. You said it, Mo. I can't believe they made me the new inspector. Hey, Curly, we need more colored string for the belts. You can depend on me. Oh, here it is. Uh, uh. Well, sorry, Mo. I didn't see you there. <laughs> what are you up to, Grapehead? Oh, I was just sending over the colorful strings over to Larry. Oh, good thinking, Emerald. Here, let me see that. Well, all right. I guess you... Wait, wait. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Say, who turned out the lights? <laughs> hey, uh, fellas. If you don't mind, we got more work to do. Where are those colored strings, Curly? <laughs> Remind me to give you a good severe talking to when we're finished. Well, we've done a fine job, boys. You said it, Mo. Yeah, these outfits would be worth something one day. Yeah, and pretty soon we can sell this stuff on eBay. Quiet. No, 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 no. Oh, wise guy, eh? Hey, Shemp, can you believe that this is happening? Whoever wears the most fantastic dress wins a tiara. Gee, that sounds exciting, Mo. I wish that I was here. Say, Mo, why don't you tell Larry and Curly I said hello? You got it. Well, goodbye, Shemp. See you later, Mo. 
Hey, Mo, come here. You're going to miss the show. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor to crown Le One with the most fantabulous outfit. You know something, Mo? I think that woman's hairdo looks just like mine. Quiet. So in conclusion, I say that Letiola goes to her. Now this makes no sense. I deserve that tiara. Well, too bad. I guess that tiara is as good as mine anyway. No, 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 lady, you wouldn't dare! <laughs> ah, ah. You better stop that! <laughs> Alright, who's next to have their famous dresses ruined? <laughs> 